In this tutorial, we will learn how to use MATLAB command line, uh, which is pretty much like using MATLAB as a calculator. So um, I'm going to open one of my files that has uh, some helping notes for it. And you can see anytime you open a new file, it opens as a new tab in the editor. So here is a problem that we need to solve. Uh, which is a simple calculation problem that you can do on your calculator. What is the weight of 2 kilogram mass on Earth? So we just multiply 2 with 9.8. So MATLAB can be used in that mode. 2 into 9.8 gives us the answer of 19.6. So now um, we can see that a variable a and s has been created called uh, with the value of 19.6 and anytime I do a new calculation the last answer is saved in this variable so something that we can use for example I can now use the answer variable in my further calculation maybe I want to uh, take the weight and add some other force into it um, a force of 5 newtons and that gives me a new answer which is 24.6. So last answer is always saved uh, in the a and s variable. Um, try now at this point I would like you to pause this video and try some other arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, division um, uh, and uh, several parentheses along with that and see how the precedence of different operations is. I expect you to do that experiment a couple of times so that you and get comfortable with the, the command line operation. The next thing we want to talk about is the uh, some of the built-in functions in MATLAB. So in the next example I have shown sine and sine d functions um, and we can get the help about this function by using help command which is again a built-in command and you can see that it provides some brief information about this function and what does it do and I will read this one with you to get you acquainted so and to make sure that there are some subtleties that you may want to pay attention to so this one says sign of argument in radians which means I have to give an input angle in radians to calculate using this function and um, sine D is the other one help sine d and this one says sine of argument in degrees so MATLAB provides two separate functions if you are using angle in radians or degrees so try using both of these functions with the, the angle radians as well as degrees to make sure that you understand um, that these two uh, you know built-in functions and um, then after that um, look for help for cosine, tangent, um, arc sine, arc tangent, and um, in MATLAB, R, instead of arc, it uses A. So, for example, in this case, you can see A sine B. Um, again, the purpose of this uh, little exercise is to get you self, yourself acquainted with the built-in functions available in MATLAB. So, to wrap up this tutorial, um, if you are looking for help of a function and you don't know the full name of the function, you can always um, at least get it started, type help and let's say I'm looking for a function cosine and get it started with initial letters and you can press tab after this to ask MATLAB to list the functions that still list uh, start with CO. So and then you can find your function in that list and um, that way uh, and ask for help for that function. Um, also there's another way to get more help at the top right corner you will see a question mark symbol if you click it it will start a help window here let's say I'm looking for mathematical functions and I can say math functions and it will it will give me some possible um, out, uh, results of this search. So I can see some elementary math functions, math functions. So let's look at this. 
and you can see it there's a list of whole list of all the common functions that we use it provides a math MATLAB equivalent of that function so exponent is exp log is log um, how to raise power um, for base 10 um, log base 10 how to get magnitude of a complex number so there's a whole list here and um, make sure you get you you of course you you won't be able to learn all of these right now but make sure that you know where to go if you're looking for a particular function uh, for usage in MATLAB that concludes this tutorial